Tarsis, yeah. So let's have a look at how you can measure the distance between two points in in one map. So I'm show you. I'm going to show you how to do that. So before we do that, I just want to select those points. So I'm going to go for two points A and B, just as an example. And uh, these are the coordinates for that point. So let's load that up in QGIS and see what it looks like. So if I go to my delimited text button, so I just created that little CSV just for this uh, exercise. Okay. Okay, there we go. There's two points. So let's just uh, maybe make these a little bigger and um, change the color slightly. Okay, so there's my two points. I want to measure the distance between the two. So let's be accurate and set our snap settings. There we go. Okay, so the distance between these two points is 31.35 kilometers. Okay, 31.35 kilometers. Okay, so let's see how would we do that in, in one map. So we're in one map here. I'm going to click on my little measure by line tool. And then I first want, I want that first point. So I'm going to select that and we go minus 3.4, which is the first point, And it was 29.4. Let's go to that point. And then click and see, okay, it's not letting us do it. So I'm just going to close this box. And then as close to that point as possible, just click. Okay, so now it's drawing my, my, my measurement line. So then what I'll do is I'll just add that second point now. There was a minus 3.6 and 29.6 and say go. Okay, and it's taken us to that new point. Okay, so now if I hover over that new point, I can see that the value is 31.42 kilometers. So the other one was 31.35, um, I think. Was it, or was it 52? 31.52, something like that. So there's a difference of uh, just about 100 or so meters between the two, over 31 kilometers. And um, I mean, if that's acceptable, then this is the way you can use it. The difference in those uh, measurements will be because of the ellipsoid being used. Um, you'll probably find that one map is using a different ellipsoid to QGIS. It's probably using WGS84, um, EPSG, what was that, 4326, uh, and then... The project, the properties for this particular project uh, is using EPSG 7030. So slightly different ellipsoid will mean slightly different measurements. But over 31 kilometers, it's only 100 odd meters out. And I think that might be suitable because I think you are probably measuring much shorter distances. Okay, so that's how you do it. Let me know if it worked for you. Okay, cheers.